Hello. Howdy. Hey, I was running radar up there, 77 into 55. That's it. I get, did you see the bike doing yeah. like 110 past me? It was, well, when it passed <laughs> me, it was doing 79. It must have saw me. All right, guys. Good morning, good evening, good night, whatever. Whenever you're watching this upload, hope you're having a great time. Welcome back to the channel. Now, we are going to hop in the Huracan Evo in just a moment. Got the POV hat on already, but first, a different Volkswagen. This is also a Volkswagen, as we all know, but this one is a little bit older. However, it's a manual, so it should be really fun in its own way. We're dropping off the Corrado at the body shop for some minor body work and then a full repaint on the car, and then we can finally give the car to my brother, which means after six years, the car is going to its rightful owner. Very excited about that. He gave up the car in 05 when he joined the Army, and I've been hanging on to it since about I think about 2017, so it's really past time for that car to go. Um, but I figured I'd bring you guys along because it's a manual and I haven't driven one in a long time. Should be a pretty cool POV. And what does the POV hat look like, you might ask? Well, it's a little bit weird, but it works. It gets the job done. I don't know if you can see it there. A little strange, but it works. <sighs> All right, and you know, a lot of people ask, like, <laughs> doesn't the camera get in the way? But really, when it's there, like your eyes, kind of adjust past it and you don't see it like you don't notice the camera at all so it is safe i will say it's safe now you'll notice on the corrado we still have the automatic gear selector there this car was a manual i did or it was an automatic i did a manual swap on it it's really fun to drive this car weighs about 20 i think like 2500 pounds so it's not i'm not gonna sit here and say it's fast but it's got like 180 it's got the vr6 and it feels quick for like what it is. Every darn time I drive a manual without fail, I miss having one and I'm like, man, I should really get one, which I might be, by the way, I might have a manual car a little bit more powerful than this, but I might have a manual car coming to the channel really soon. Now these cars back in the early 90s were pretty ahead of their time. It did have Active Aero at one point, it no longer does. The wing does not appear to be working back there. It used to go up. The wing would automatically go up at like 45, I believe, 45 or up. Now I say wing, I'm not talking like a P1 wing here. So I'm not sure how like useful it actually was arrow wise, but it did go up and down. It was a little spoiler and it went up and down about, you know, four or five inches. And side note about the Corrados, the mirrors are what car is it that has the Corrado mirrors? I had to look it up. It's a McLaren F1. I knew it was something like insane, but yeah, it's a McLaren F1. So if you've got an F1, you have VW Corrado mirrors on your car, which means I think the mirrors are the most valuable part of this car by far. Let's do a little second gear here and go. Oh yeah. I've known people to do the VR6 big turbo. Oh, wow. That sounds really good. And they make big power. So I know you can make these pretty freaking quick. And again, they're light, but even in stock form, really nice car to drive, really fun. I like it. Check out the automatic seatbelt. That's cool. Kind of wish they brought that back, but we're dropping her off. And uh, when you see it next, it might be gone to my brother. All right, back in the garage. Had to give you a little regular cam so you know it was really me with the hat on. Um, but I don't know if you can hear, Rich is jamming. He's jamming over there. He pulled in, he's revving it up, he's jamming. He is he is always doing something. He's always up to something. But I also have, we're gonna get the POV hat back on, but I also have this. I just bought the Insta360 X3 and uh, it looks really cool. This is not sponsored by the way. Um, I bought, I paid full price. I went out and bought it. I think this is going to be really cool. I got the camera and a triple suction cup mount. So I think it should look epic on the car. Now, my only concern is I don't, like if you notice when I film, I rarely, if ever, have anything outside the car. I had one GoPro fly off once, like five years ago, and I've always not had something on the car. I have like a phobia about it. Ever since that one time, I never have anything on the outside, but I'm gonna try it. We'll trust it, and I think it will be really cool if we don't lose it. Are you ready to see this? I got my keys, and uh, there it is. Now, I'd be totally lying if I said I wasn't a little bit concerned about that camera setup, but uh, what can you do? You know, we'll, we'll do it for the shot. If we lose it, I guess we lose it. Someone gets a free 
new camera. Huracan Evo, pretty freaking cool. Close the door here. Smells like the Gallardo. For me, getting a Huracan, um, I do prefer the V12 Lambos, and if I was gonna get a Huracan, had to be the updated one because it really is drastically different. Now, if I'm just using it as a race car, you know, I could have done an older one, but I did, you know, want this to also be a really nice daily, and the new screen is really awesome, the whole dash is awesome. The old, not old, but the previous Huracan, like the regular one, the original, was okay back in 2015, but even then it wasn't exactly at like the cutting edge of tech. So by 2018, 19, it was really outdated. Check out my cup holder there in the dash. <laughs> it goes in and out pretty cool. Um, but let's go ahead and fire it up. And I will say this car is pretty epic. The factory exhaust, really loud in Corsa, which will, I'll show you in a second. Go! Yeah! Go! Go! Yeah! What I will say about the Huracan is, yes, it might not have quite as much theater as the Aventador, as the big boy, but it drives a lot better. It, re it really is a drastically better driving car. Not only more comfortable and livable, but also like a lot tighter, a lot more nimble. It feels, I know the SVJ is faster on a track, but the Huracan for an everyday driver like me, it really feels way faster. It feels like you can push it a lot more because it gives you a lot more confidence. And uh, man, you know, an NAV10, really tough to beat. I mean, listen to that. Totally stock exhaust. <laughs> and it sounds like this. So good, you know, really sad that the R8 and the Huracan are going to be, I think anyway, the last V10 cars ever. I mean, I can't think of any other new ones right now. And the R8 is done, the Huracan gonna stick around for a while, I guess. But um, yeah, they're going to be the last ones. Turn signal on the wheel, if you didn't see there. Great little section up here if no traffic is coming. It's kind of like the corkscrew at Laguna Seca. It's pretty epic. Hopefully nobody is here. We're good. <laughs> so good. Oh my God. Wow. Hit it anywhere. And it goes anywhere with the all wheel drive. <laughs> so quick. Oh my God. <laughs> A V10 revving to 9K, what more could you want, right? Other than the driving, I love the car. Love the tech, love the upgrades over the older Huracan, like I said, and it's very, very comfortable, very livable. I mean, you could easily daily drive this car, and I plan to. And the good news is, I don't know if you can see, but the camera is still on, and we did some pulls, we did launch control, so I think we're good. I think the camera will stay. And we are back, what a drive. What a great drive it was. Now, something else different about the Huracan, it does have a parking button. The Aventadors did not have that, just neutral and then a par uh, parking brake, but this one actually has park. And uh, let's give her a few here before we shut it down. <laughs> Back into quiet mode and shut her down. Okay, so let me kind of set the stage here now for the next part of the video, but also before we get into that, let me know in the comments, I read all the comments, let me know if you liked that camera angle for the first drive. I thought it was really awesome, and it's tough to know, like when I went to edit, I didn't know how much of the outside of the car I should show versus the inside of the car, what would be a good mix. I think I did okay, but if you wanna see more outside, more like regular POV, let me know what you would rather see in future uploads, but that's really cool. I loved the camera, it stayed on. So I do think we'll be using that in future uploads for sure. And also Gina took the car out and uh, she had a blast. <laughs> Yeah, that was me filming for the first drive video and I kind of thought, honestly, I would be missing the Aventador a lot driving this car. However, 
I didn't feel that one time because this car is so epic in its own way. And to be clear, this is not a replacement for that car. I will be getting an SVJ or Ultima at some point soon. Um, but this car is so like nimble and kind of playful and a little bit more playful. I think maybe even a tiny bit more fun on the street because of that, it feels more approachable than the big uh, Aventador and I really enjoyed it. So this car is awesome. After I filmed all that, I took the car out again with all my stuff, but I wasn't filming, like I was just driving and I was cruising down this highway. Apparently it's a 50 mile per hour highway. I didn't know that. I thought it was maybe, I mean, I should, I live around here but I thought it was maybe like 60, 65. I'm cruising, empty road, you know, beautiful day. And then all of a sudden a bike comes up next to me and you know, he's, he's revving it, playing around, whatever. And he does like a big pull. And I thought about it, believe me, I thought about, you know, getting into it, but I was like, ah, you know, let him go. There could be cops, whatever. So he takes off. And then not more than like a couple seconds later, sure enough, a state cop off the side of the road. And I'm thinking, oh man, he's gonna get the bike, right? So I go by him not even thinking that I'm speeding or anything. And he pulls out, I'm like, oh, he's gonna get the bike for sure. That bike just passed me going like 100 miles an hour at least. And the state cop is behind me. Is he gonna pull me over or the bike? Because I was in the right lane just chilling. All right, here we go. gets behind me and I'm like, what? How, how am I getting pulled? Like I literally just got past someone going way faster. And I, to be clear, I don't want the bike to get pulled over either. Good for him, he got, he got away. But I'm like, how do I get pulled over? Someone is passing me and I get pulled over. Chilling in the right lane. A bike goes past me at like 110 miles an hour and I get pulled over. Hello. Howdy. Hey, I was running radar up there, 77 into 55. That's it. I get, did you see the bike doing yeah. like 110 past me? It was, well, when it passed <laughs> me, it was doing 79. It must have saw me. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. All right, guys. Well, I'm sure you already know this, but if you don't, this upload is brought to you by myself and my company here, 717supply.com, link down below. Anything you get on the website gets you entered to win that truck right there. A beautiful 2022 Denali 2500, fully loaded with all the goodies, lift kit, big wheels and tires, color matched. She's ready to go for you. That truck and 10 grand. Again, anything you get, gets you automatically entered to win the truck and the cash. You loved the cash giveaway so much that we're bringing it back. Now, last time 40 of you found a hundred bucks in your order. Here's how it works. If you place your order today when the video goes live, like the night of it going live and, th and then the first full 24 hours after, so like the first kind of 36 hours-ish, if you place your order during that time, you're eligible to get 100 bucks in your order. And it's random, doesn't matter you know, when you order, as long as it's in that time, doesn't matter what you get. Some people got a t-shirt, some got a key tag, whatever, uh, but you are eligible and could find 100 bucks in your order. Britt, as always, will hand it out in orders that she sees fit based on whatever, whatever she thinks that day, whatever name, whatever order number, it doesn't matter. You might just find a hundred bucks in your order if you order when you see this upload. Yeah, if you wanna win this truck and 10 grand in cash to use for whatever you want and maybe find a hundred bucks in your order, link down below, get anything on the website and you're automatically entered to win. Thank you and good luck. It was, well, when it passed <laughs> me, it was doing 79, it must have saw me. Um, can I see your license? Yep. And insurance? Mm -hmm. uh, it's on my phone if that's okay. Yeah. I'm just recording for YouTube. Okay. Just to let you know. No problem. But I'm not one of those guys who just puts you on blast for no reason. I was just yeah. like, man, I can't believe I'm getting pulled over. Yeah. Yeah, I can't usually go after both people. <laughs> so. Circumstances of the pullover aside, this is a really good example of not Rich's revving up over there. Again, he's back out. <laughs> Off on another adventure. Anyway, kind of forgot where I was, but there is a lesson here in the story. And the lesson is 
don't judge a book by its cover or maybe even don't jump to conclusions because I thought based on the pullover that the cop was gone after, you know, the yellow Lambo and he was going to be some type of way. Um, but he was really nice and I was even whining about it. Now I was being cooperative. Like I had all my stuff in order, car off, windows down. Um, but I, w I was whining, I'll admit. And he was like really chill about the whole thing. Did you just purchase this because it wasn't coming back in the car? I did. Yeah. Literally, uh, picked it up like two days ago. Okay. But I haven't, I have everything in order here. Do you have the paperwork then? Yep. Yeah, uh, here is, this is the binder. Hold on, let me get the actual card. So here's insurance ID. Feel free to zoom in or whatever. And then my paperwork's on the other side. Yeah, that's fine. Get it. I just can't reach it. Take a look at this. You have your phone back. I'll be right back. Did you have a speeding ticket, like, recently? Not, uh, uh, I think I did, like, probably four months ago. Okay. From, uh, from State Cop on the Turnpike. Okay. But it was like, I think it was like five over a ten. Okay. I'll see what I can do, all right? Thank you very much. And uh, he actually gave me a warning, only a warning, which you don't have to do anything with. So that was very nice and I appreciate it. And it's a, it's a good example, like I said, of not, you know, being some type of way and being cooperative, you know, just have all your stuff together and answer the questions and, and be normal. And maybe you get a break because I got a break and you can see right here. All my info is on there, but police warning notice, you can see, not gonna show the whole thing, but um, yeah, you don't have to do anything with those, thankfully. So that worked out really well. I know you gotta take it with a grain of salt. From me, Mr. Never Breaks Any Laws Ever in his cars, but I think the moral of the story is, number one, try not to speed. Number two, if you're going to have your papers in order and be legal and be cooperative, maybe you get a break and thank you to him for giving me a break. And also as a cop, I get it, like car or bike, you're going after the bright yellow Lambo because it's easier. And some places a cop can't even chase a bike. It could be like that here. And yes, that was filmed right after I got the car. I couldn't even make it a full 24 hours without getting pulled over. We are off to a great start. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, give this upload a big thumbs up. Take care and have a great night. And I know guys, lots of companies talk about giving out money or whatever, but you might be wondering, do we actually do it? Why can't, there we go. Uh, yes, we actually do. And you can see that if you post it and you tag us, I got Ladesh looking every day, uh, we will repost and you can see people actually, real people actually getting the hundred bucks in their order. I want you guys to know if I say it, we actually do it.